rolling. When I was um, 17, 18, I took part in a cultural exchange called Canada World Youth, a youth exchange which took me to Pakistan for several months. And I lived in a village there, and, um, and so I ended up in a completely different society and culture, where, for example, for three months I didn't see the face of a single woman uh, in the village. Everybody was wearing a burqa from head to toe. Um, but where, where people lived in large extended families of more than 20 people, where they had an incredible sense of hospitality. So where really the way that life was organized and people's values were completely different from my own. And I learned to see the world from their perspective. And so that's what really got me interested in anthropology. How can you um, uh, understand and enter and see the world from a completely different worldview from your own. In 1989, which was when I was in year one in university, this was when the year when the Berlin Wall uh, fell, uh, when the Soviet bloc collapsed, and when the Tiananmen movement occurred in China. And I wanted to learn about a completely different culture from my own. And I felt that China, of all the different cultures in the world, was probably the most different from Western culture and one of the largest and probably at that time I had the feeling that it would probably become very influential in the future so I wanted to learn about that society at the same time China was and is a socialist a communist country um, and we were this was a time when all of these, the, you know, the communist countries many of them were changing profoundly were, were collapsing and I was very curious to understand how those societies operate. China is a country where all of your assumptions will always be challenged. Um, it, it never fits any kind of mold or framework that we, would try to, um, that we would try to use to understand what's going on in that country. And China is one fifth of humanity, no matter what you think. Uh, China has and is having an increasing influence on the world. So to be um, engaged in learning about China, uh, participating in the discourse about China, uh, has always been something that there's. It's always full of surprises.